Philippe, Happy New Year. Um, Thank you, you also. Thank you. Um, uh, all of you. <laughs> Not you only. <laughs> <laughs> what, were your, uh, what were your thoughts on the overall game from your team? That it was a really good performance uh, against the team that I respect a lot. Um, they won three out of the four old firms until now this season. Um, it's a difficult team to break also because they, they play really well structured, organized, with a lot of uh, physicality, but in a positive way, I mean that. With good transition set pieces, so we had to be on our toes, but my, my team did that today and uh, they showed a, lo a lot of quality. Um, with three good goals, three really good football goals, uh, good combination play and, and good other chances also, we could have scored more. So uh, a really, really positive afternoon. After, yeah, at the end of a, a very busy period, eh, because um, that was the challenge. We had uh, 11 or 12 games in 37 days. Uh, we had a lot of injured players. One moment it was 11 players out. So I had the feeling in moments that I was pulling this elastic at its maximum and it was a, uh, it could break every moment. But the players sticked into the story. They worked really hard until their limits or over their limits in moments maybe. And uh, if at the end you can give this performance, it all only means that uh, the team is growing a lot. And um, so I'm happy for them that they can have a short break to recover mentally, physically, and then we can start a, a hard month in, uh, in January with a good training camp. You talk about the festive period, there were so many games, so many injuries. What have you said to the players there? Obviously, there's going to be a, a short break. What have you said to them after this tough period? That I'm really proud of them uh, in these 11 weeks together because it's, it's really short, uh, 11 weeks, and everything that happened in, in, in that period. Um, that I'm really proud of what they are doing, that they all feel that they are growing, that they need to relax now and take their time with their families to make a, a really strong restart in the, in the second part of the season and that there are still a lot of challenges for us and that we will have more time also to grow and, and to become better because we can, we can train more. How would you assess your time in charge so far? Obviously, a, gr a great winning record, you've already picked up a trophy. How would you assess it? Uh, no, it's, it's not about me, it's about the team. So, no, I'm happy that everybody's saying they see a different team now uh, with more winning mentality because that's what I demand every day. Um, I see also more and more that uh, more and more quality that the team starts to understand better and better how I want to see football, how I want them to run together, how I want them to create spaces for, uh, for other players. It becomes more and more fluent, but I, that are things I know if the players keep on working and they, they stay attentive and they stay concentrated, that after a while it becomes more natural for them. Um, so there are really positive things and it's now not being satisfied, but being ambitious to become better. Philippe Bridvan, uh, UMass was still the man in the match, he got his assist for the third goal, just wondered what you made of his performance overall. I think it was uh, the best performance I saw from Ritvan until now, in my period. So he's also one of the players who are growing. But I have to say that about a lot of players, if I compare with 11 weeks ago, how they played and how they are playing now, I see a lot of players who are, who are growing and, and that's the, the road we need to take. Philippe, you always say that this team will hit bumps in the road and it's about how they react. Well, the reaction today was very good. Is that one of the overall pleasing things for you, the mentality of the group? Yes, because those are not easy things. I said it also around, and that was in the opposite, around uh, the win in, in Betis, and then three days later being there again and performing and under all the pressure that you have to win, taking a trophy after so many years. So they showed resilience, concentration, ambition. And that they show today also, because these are the dangerous games. You, you were disappointed not to win. It's a few hours away of a break. It's a festive time where all the family, all the people around you having a good time and drinks and food and good life. But they had to recover really fast and they had to perform. And they are doing that. So 
they're in the, the right road, they understand my story, that's also important. Um, that life is much, much better when you're ambitious every day and when you're ambitious every game. And if you go in satisfaction about what you, what you did, then you go down and I see a team who wants to become better and players who want to become better and I see also a lot of players uh, making this evolution. So now they can switch off. I told them also in the dressing room, they can switch off for a few days. Of course, they need to do their program, but uh, you cannot uh, let your body do nothing for five, six, seven days and then have a hard training camp because then we're in risk again of injuries. So they need to take care of that. But outside of that, they really need to switch off and uh, enjoy their time with their families. Huh? No, because uh, I have other things to do. It's not only trainings. We have a, we have a January Mercato to come. Um, so I need to watch players also. But I will do things with my family also. Yeah. But I don't like to switch off. For me, it's not important. My, my body don't need to do anything anymore. And my brain doesn't explode of, of, not, of doing that all the time. So I love it and I will do it. I'm still curious um, because you speak now, and I'm happy about that. You speak now about the potential of this team. And 11 a week ago, I hear a lot of people saying there was no, not, pot not potential enough in this team to, to do what, what Rangers needs to do. So it's positive that so many players are growing and, and that I want to see. And I will keep a, yeah, a close eye on, on that together with my staff. Who are the players who are staying ambitious? Who are the players who are pushing? And there are a lot, a lot of good examples in that way. Eh? You have a... A young lad who was just in academy, who's playing now really regular because he's performing. You have players like Kieran Dowell or Dujon Sterling who play in other positions and did that for the team, but they did it in a good way. So I think this team is on a, in a really good way, this dressing room also. If I see the, the atmosphere every day uh, in the building, with the trainings, their ambition in the trainings. Also now after the, our first defeat and we knew it would come one day, the reaction was how I wanted it. Uh, and to make a good analyze what went wrong, what we could do better or other people. Um, and then react directly on the pitch again and, and leave everything behind us, win or lose. How active do you expect to be in the transfer window this month? How active? I think uh, very active every day by looking at a lot of players together with the people in the club. Yeah. And, and then we will see uh, how much things you, you, can make, uh, yeah, you can make happen. The things we want. Not, uh, we're not going to sign 10 players, don't worry. Philip, you talked here about reaction on the pitch, um, particularly today, uh, Todd Cantwell. Todd took a bit of criticism after the third game for the weekend. Um, and then he picks up the yellow card in the early stage of the game today for the same. How important was it for him and what role did you play to try and get that reaction out which we then see for the goal in the second half? Uh, it's difficult to take out one player. Eh? It, it's, it's, a, it's a total story and every player has his own working points and that's my job and, and the staff to point them out and to work on that with them. So. I'm happy with the evolution Todd is making and I prefer to take him out in the 87th minute instead of the 37th minute. I told him also when he came off. He, he, he found it funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fabio Silva got a debut uh, today. Uh, how happy were you the fact that he got time on the pitch before the break and he came on as a striker, will that be where he plays most or might he be used in wide positions as well during his time here? Um, yeah, first, I think it's, it's always great to, if a player does the good things in the training, and I did yesterday, um, to give him minutes at Ibrox, because it's a magical place to play the first time. And he had to feel it also. Then you go also with that feeling into this break, 
it's different than when you you were on the bench all the time. Um, he understands the story. We had a lot, a lot of talks before he came about football, about how I see players playing. We spoke about several positions, not only one, that he can play in several positions and how I see that. So at the end, he could go to places where he could earn much more money, but he came for the football story and for the tradition of the club also and to win trophies because he's somebody who's really ambitious. So it was good for him to, to get his first impression about things. And in these 20 minutes, you didn't have a feeling it was a player who didn't know his teammates. So that's already a very positive thing because it's not easy as an attacking player to come into a new team that you don't know the other guys and how to run and how to play and who gives the decisive balls and who likes the dribble and all these things you need to learn and you need to get connection with them. So you see already now that he's a player who, who will suit uh, the way we want to play football. Yes, uh, yeah, it's important that we, that we get players back and, uh, and Nico worked really hard uh, all this time to come back as fast as possible. So it was a little bit a reward from my side also towards him that he could take a few minutes and get the feeling again to be on the pitch after all the hard work that he's done. To be here, he could have took one, one week more to be ready for the training camp, but he, he was hungry to be back as fast as possible. So I'm happy that the circumstances were there that I could give him something back.